everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and today we are talking about decluttering kids' toys. I've gotten so many comments from you guys expressing that kids' toys are such an issue. I totally get it. I have three of my own, two of them are toddlers and one of them is very sentimental and has a hard time letting go of things. Making a dent in the kids' toys for us was probably the biggest area of our home where we saw benefits the quickest. So that's why I wanted to start with this video first. So today I have 20 categories of kids' toys that you can go ahead and knock out, go ahead and grab a box and I'll show you exactly where to start so you can get some toys out of your house right now. Number one is footballs, soccer balls, bouncy balls. You probably have way more than you actually need. Even if you have multiple kids that you think you're gonna be playing with, go check your toy room, check your kids' bedrooms, check the garage and check the backyard. See how many you have, if you put them all together, you'll probably be shocked how many you actually have. Get rid of all the extras, ones that they do not need that somebody else can use. Number two is books. I know that a lot of people do not like to get rid of books, but if there are books that you know your kids are no longer are interested in, that you're not gonna read anymore, that you're not gonna miss, go ahead and get them out of your home. They are so easy to replace. You can go to a thrift store, you can go to garage sailing, you can go to the library and borrow books. Okay, the next one is dolls. How many dolls do your kids have? Go ahead and check them out and see if there are any that they're not gonna miss or that they just don't play with anymore. Okay, next are stuffed animals. How many times have your kids received stuffed animals from you or family members or friends and they just, maybe they're not stuffed animal people. I know most of my, I only have one out of my three kids that really actually like stuffed animals. Go ahead and look through those and see what you can eliminate from your house today. Next are riding toys. Our kids grow and sometimes we tend to hang on to the toys they are probably too big for. So go ahead, check out your garage, check out your backyard, anywhere where you have any riding toys and see if there are any that you can go ahead and donate or sell. Number six are really just any big toys that they no longer use. Maybe they used them at one point or you thought they were gonna use them. So think about doll houses, um, basketball hoops, those little plastic ones, um, anything like that. See what big toys that you have around that they just don't use anymore. Okay, next are those um, plasticky tunnels. If you have any of those, check them out. Do they use them? Are they ripped? Do they really need to stay? If not, go ahead and knock them out. Next are tents. Do you have any of the tents, whether they're cloth or plastic? Do you really need to keep them? If not, go ahead and get rid of them. Okay, number nine are the noisemaker toys. How many noisemaker toys do you have that your kids don't even use or they just press the button and walk away? They don't actually use it for what it's meant for. They just look at it and dump it and then move on and go find another more interesting toy. Get rid of them. You don't need them in your house anymore. Number 10, go through the puzzles. If you know there are puzzles with missing pieces or that just don't get played with anymore, go ahead and get rid of those. Number 11, games. How many games do you have in your house that your kids are no longer interested in? If there are any games lying around that you guys never use anymore, or if you have multiples, of a game and you don't need multiples, go ahead and get rid of them. Number 12, coloring books. I just decluttered our little coloring book stash and I was blown away by A, how many we had and B, how many we didn't even need that I got rid of so I could just keep the more educational ones, the more ones that they would get more out of. That and just blank paper so they can just be completely creative on their own. So if you have any extra coloring books lying around, go see if you can get rid of any of those, pass them on so other people can color with them. Um, and they won't be filling up your drawers if you don't need them. Next are old art supplies. How many of you have old paints that are dried out or that haven't been touched in, uh, for, in forever that are just taking up space? Maybe your art supply closet is just a mess and nobody goes in there. Um, go through it and see what you can actually get rid of because chances are there's probably a lot of stuff that isn't being used. Number 14, old or non-washable markers. For me personally, if I ever see a marker that is not washable, I get it out of my house immediately because I wanna know if I get marker on anything that it will come off of it immediately. It has happened multiple times and it has saved me because I could have had furniture that was ruined that thankfully was not because we didn't have any non-washable ones or if they're old, dried out, go ahead and get rid of them. Number 15, broken crayons. They can be choking hazards if you have little kids. So just think about that. If there are any broken crayons that you have lying around that you don't need anymore, Go ahead and toss them and keep the ones that are still in good shape. 16, do you have a slide in your backyard? Maybe one of those little portable ones, maybe it never gets used, it's just in the corner, it's getting real dirty. If you don't use it anymore, go ahead and get it out. Number 17, those mini trampolines. Do you have one that you're not using anymore? If so, that's another item you can either donate or sell. 
stuff like that takes up a lot of space. So if your kids don't use them, get rid of them. Number 18, outdoor pools. If you have any that are gross, moldy, super dirty, or just never get used anymore, that's another big item that you can get out of your house and save you a lot of space. Whether it's in your garage or in your backyard, they're not very pretty to look at. So if it's not in good shape, go ahead and get rid of it. Old water stand toys, anything they play with outside, if if they stop playing with it, those take up a lot of space, go ahead and get rid of those and any of the toys that go along with it. And then finally, squeezy bath toys. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the article about where people will take a bath toy, their bath toys and they try to wash them out, but they don't end up doing a good enough job because there's mold that's in there. I don't even think you can do a good enough job. You just don't want anything to do with those squeezy toys. They are nasty. Get them out of your house if you still have them. Okay, and that is all for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it was super helpful and that you were able to get a lot of stuff decluttered quickly out of your home. Please let me know in the comments below if you liked it, if there's anything that I left out, um, and if there is anything that you wanna hear about next, or if you have any other questions relating to toys, let me know below. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.